So I'm going to start off by doing a less complicated one. I'm going to do um, exactly what you see right here. And then later on, I will make it a little more complicated. Um, I always like to start with the lightest colors first. Um, it's very easy to go over your, um, your mistakes, I guess, if you start with the lightest colors first. So we have this lovely round shape here. Now feel free to put your lovely fruits anywhere you want to put them. Now you can try to draw a circle as best as you can, but do your best, or you can use something to trace. That's an idea too. You can use something to trace it. Now you'll notice that the line around here is pretty thick, and it's thick so that I can make up for this this lack of a round shape here. So I can just go in, use the thick side of my marker to thicken it up. Feel free to move your picture around. That don't get too caught up in making it perfect because it will not be perfect unless you use a compass or something to trace it. And then after that, you got your circle. You'll notice these little, um, mostly triangular shapes. I guess they're they are triangular, but they're more like they've got rounded corners right there. Um, there's also a teeny tiny little circle right in the middle. We're actually going to start off with that tiny little circle. It can be a dot if you want it to be a dot or a circle. It's up to you. Now, each of these, now each, now you can actually divide this if you just like look at half of it. You can see that there's three on each side. So there's six of them inside of here. But I'm going to look at it as a half. That, that I, I tend to look at these things in terms of halves because that helps me to break down the shape a little bit easier. It helps to keep things a little bit more symmetrical, if that makes sense. So I'll start with one of them, rounded triangle. And then I'll make my second one. This will be the middle. So if I was cutting this in half, this would be that middle one. And then the next one is going to fit in right there. Like that. And all we have to do is jump to the other side. Got that. The middle is going to be directly across. And none of these triangles are symmetrical, if I'm completely honest. They're just. Got Brandy joining us. Very cool. All right, so that was a simple way of going about it. Now, wait a minute for our new our people to get connected. How is how's everyone doing so far? All right. anyone had a chance to do anything creative this week? No. Same though. Oh no, it's not. 
I started a paint by numbers thing. Oh, I'm gonna, nice. gonna take well, this is what it'll uh, look like when it's done. I don't know if you could see it. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. It's a no, it's, Yeah, it's, it looks like my cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very detailed, so it's taking me forever. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You have the patience of the saint. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Kind of meditative, <laughs> but I just have to because I have like um lesions on my C spine, so I can't look over a lot like that. So I just have to take mm -hmm. a lot of breaks. But yeah. yeah. It's meditative though to do that, I think. That's good. Yeah. So Hi, Brandy. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Good to see you. Sorry, I was starting dinner, but good. here to You're make, good. we're going to make lemonade or lemons or something. Lemonade, Lime. pretty much. So this is the full picture, mostly. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're starting off with the biggest things. So the biggest and most important things, which is going to be our lemon. Um, however, of course, I was telling them that um, I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated than this by adding a few more extra colors. Um, and I'm also going to be uh, doing different citrus fruits too. So limes, oranges, and grapefruits too. So you guys can see that, but it's all the same process. So if you want to do the same colors, just stick with the same colors. I'm just switching the colors out, same process. So, so Kelly, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go over quickly um, what we started with here. So I drew my circle first, and um, because it was not a perfect circle, of course, I just freehanded it. Um, you could trace it if you wanted to, or use a compass, um, but because it's not perfect, I went around and made the line thicker so that it just kind of disguises its, its uh, imperfections a little bit better. Um, so I did that. And then you can tell by, um, if, you, if you put your hand over the finished piece right here, you can see that it's made up of three um, triangles on each side. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, that just helps to um, make it a little bit symmetrical when you're drawing these things. So I started with a dot just to sort of round myself. There's that dot. Then I created the triangles, rounded triangles. So for everybody else, if you're finished with that first step, um, yeah. you can go in and draw your next subject. So you can start with a round one, um, or you can do these half these uh, half pieces here, quarter pieces, I should say. Um, and that one is pretty easy in my opinion. Um, I'm not going to uh, organize this. Like I'm just gonna put these, these slices anywhere I want to. So you start with a line and then you draw the half circle attached to it. Started that line, drew the half circle. Uh, if you want to, you can go down and create that thicker line. And I'm just doing the thicker line on the rind side, the side with the line. And then you'll notice if you look at the original one, I didn't really stick with the with having only three sections here. For me, it just made more sense to do four sections, but I really wanted you to just do however many makes you feel comfortable. It might help for some of you to start in the middle, but for others, it might make a little more sense to start with the side. Up to you. Four, five pieces in the middle. Anything goes in this class. So let me go ahead and do my line because I think the next step will make more sense if I draw a different 
find this extra screw here. Once again, I'm doing, I'm making the little quarter slice here with my lighter color, my lighter, my lighter green. See, I've, I'm actually able to squeeze in more little, little sections if I start on the side, like on that straight side. I don't know if it matters. It doesn't matter. But just a little something I noticed. Maybe I'll put another round circle up here. And once again, I'm just using Um, gosh, I love the chalk. Why does it look like that? So anyway, um, I'm going to make that dot in the middle. I'm going to make all the little slices for that. Once again, I'm thinking about that half rule like that. Probably could have made it work. Could have squeezed in like four sections there. Okay, so I have my light colors down there. I wanted to make it a little bit more dynamic. I could go in with my darker colors. This is my darker green here. And I can go on the outside, on the right side, and I could completely circle this with uh, the dark green, or I could just kind of leave a few little dashes. Like that, kind of like that. If I want really completely up to you how you want to handle that, but really, I'm just kind of going around. I could also, here's another option I, I can show you make a few dots, kind of spread the dots around. Because you know how citrus rinds, they're, they're bumpy. So there's an option to make some dots. Now I'm not going to go all the way around with these dots. I don't have time for that. But you definitely want to. Make it here. And you don't have to add the dots with the, the extra line. Definitely don't have to. Now, if you're doing a lemon, I'm using like a light brown here only because I know I'm, I'm already going to have some orange slices in here. I didn't want to use both the oranges. So I'm just using this light brown. And because I don't want it to look moldy, I don't want it to look yucky. I'm really just going to do those dots. Maybe a dash or two, I haven't decided yet. You know what, I like the dash. Do a few dashes. So leave it alone. Move a little closer so you can get a slightly better that. Hope that helps. Again, this is a little slice right here. Do some dots. Oh, that. Now it's up to you, but if you wanted to color in the middle here, like the actual um, fleshy part, you can do that. 
I don't have it on here just because I wanted to keep it um, a little bit more um, uh, lighter, airy, less heavy with, with color. So I didn't do that with this, but if you feel compelled to color in any of these sections, you definitely can. Now, I'm gonna make some oranges. Um, I want you guys to just continue adding however many of these things that you want. So you kind of um, go on your own path if you like to, if you want to do that. Um, but if you want to add oranges, then I'm going to do oranges. And then I'll do grapefruit. But like I said before, it's the exact same process. Start with your light color and then move on. Little making you want a little sangria. Really, really. What are we talking about? Susie, we're talking about your painting. Anybody else do anything creative? Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, oh, oh yeah, Marley, that looks good. Looks, yeah. looks delicious, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of sweet juice. <laughs> Did I see some dots? Did you put dots on it? Unrelatedly, but related to uh, fruit, I did yeah. um, a couple of days ago. I made uh, watermelon. Piece. Oh, wow. cute! I don't even like watermelon, but we were recently on vacation and in Texas, and it was just so hot, and I was enjoying the watermelon. So I thought I drew it. Um, oh, but anyway, it's kind of funny we're doing fruit again. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. What city were you in, if you don't mind me asking? We started um, in Austin for like three or four days. And then we went up, because that was just like touristy fun. And then yeah. we up, all my family's in the Fort Worth, Dallas, well, Colleyville, that area, so. Okay, went up there, very cool. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, but I knew, I was like, oh, Hannah's just down the street in, in San Antonio. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty close by. It's like yeah, like an hour, right? Yeah, I used I used yeah. to live in Crowley, Fort Worth Crowley area. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. see, it. very cool. Yeah. I um yeah, oh, much closer. Um, yeah, I was in I was in Dallas pretty recently too. So who knows? Maybe we cross. Yeah. I went up there for um for quinceanera. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. It's a really nice. Those can be some very big parties. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. I'm like, I she never is... had a birthday party like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um she is one of my distant cousins. She she um and uh yeah it was a lot of fun I got to see a lot of family members that I hadn't seen in a very long time in years yeah so fun. but this was like Father's Day weekend I think a month ago oh we were there over the 4th of July oh okay gotcha 
So I am moving on to the dark portions of my orange. I think I'll outline. Are those the washable markers I usually use, right? Yeah, yeah. So when they start to not work, I've been um, unpleasantly licking them. Like, is there a good technique to <laughs> restarting them or maybe not? I don't know, honestly. I, I normally just get a whole new set after they dry yeah. out. So I don't know. That. I just feel bad when you only have like three or four, of the, you know, the heavily used ones. And you're like, well, hmm, I don't need all yeah. 20. I, I know, right? You don't need all 20 of the other ones. Yeah. Honestly, I do wonder actually if uh, Lick, putting, like dipping works. the end. Yeah. So maybe dipping the end in water would work. Yeah. Huh. I looked into recycling these, but only um, the only cradling only does it with schools, not with individuals. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that. I didn't know they recycled them at all. Yeah, they melt down. They melt it all down. Just the crayons or, or other things too? Oh, no. Like, no, the markers. Oh, no way. Yes. Yes way. Learn something new. I would actually love to see, like, a How It's Made episode. Oh, yeah. The Crayola. Oh, yes. I'm going to be doing great fruit next week. Which I love grapefruit. I don't know if you guys do, but sometimes like I'll go into like a grapefruit. Or, I don't know what would you call it, like grapefruit binge, I guess. So that's like all I eat for a while. But that's probably just me. I don't really know which of these to start with. Is it pink? It does. Is it now I'm also keeping in mind that I have some that I also want to leave room for some leaves too. So maybe I'll just do like one big cut. And for some of these, I don't know if you guys noticed, but for some of these, like this one, I accidentally made my circle or my half circle here um, a little bit too close to something else, and that's okay. It just means that. A lot of fruit you just spend the space. Just have a little bit of improvising to do. And for anybody who um, uh, just got here a little while ago or didn't hear me, I'm Carolyn says she misses everyone. She has COVID. Oh, no. She has COVID. She wishes she could be here. And it's the reason why we were talking about COVID. How are y'all doing with it? Any questions? Cool. You guys are awesome. Keep going. I'm about to see, see how well this new other piece shows up. Honestly, you can barely see it up against the page. It's not too bad, though. Somehow, I have, like, blue coming out of the... Kind of weird. It made a blue line. Weird. Maybe I'll just do one more off 
Is it good? Did it touch the green? No, it didn't huh? touch the green. It's definitely blue. I don't know. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned the last time. But I got a new kit. You got a kit. Yeah, she um she I guess you could call her a rescue. Um my boyfriend's uh coworker um found her and um they could they can't take care of her. She's just a tiny. She was like four weeks old when they when they she was found. And um had ringworms and just kind of looked like she was a mess. So we took her into the vet and she's officially ours now. Yay. She's off her, her ringworm medication. So now she's like unleashed her fury on the whole household. Um, it's great. <laughs> she, uh, she has so much energy. What's her name? Callie, which is short for Calypso. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got a very fiery person. But she's friendly. Like, she's really sweet. Has temper. Aww. All right. So, we have some leaves to make. So, let me show you the shape of our leaves. And if you're still on the fruit portion, that's okay. Like any, like honestly, you can you can skip any of these steps or, or jump to any of the steps, I should say. Um, I am I'm go ahead and show you. It's basically a football shape, but much more elongated. And these little details here, like this little curly cue and this part right here. Those are all just little um, little accents, I would say. Those will be added later, much later. In fact, probably one of the last ones too. As far as how many leaves to add, it's completely up to you. These are the largest or second largest things in your picture. I think that when I made this, Mostly, I was thinking all the leaves would kind of go outward a little bit, for the most part. So if you wanted to just make all your leaf shapes first, and then color them in, you could do that. Or you could just color them all in and do them all one by one. All the things. Really does not matter. Mostly, I'm looking for uh, larger areas. This one right here. Mostly larger areas, just so I can fill in space. This one right here. Now you can color it in like this, or if you have your own method, then do that. No right or wrong method to coloring any of this stuff in. Okay. Coloring in it coloring it in one direction and then switching it up. Now this is done just with my, my light green, but if you have a different green that you like. In fact, I'm gonna make it a little more complicated by adding a darker green. I think that kind of looks a little more uh, teal than green to me. Weird. Oh, 
probably just add a few of these. Anyone do anything interesting or fun this past week? Doesn't have to be creative. I didn't do camping. I've been wanting to take the kids camping. I myself am a beginner. I have very much experience at all. But I thought hopefully I could do that next week. Did you say camping? Mm hmm Yeah, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Yeah, I camp all the time, but I can't imagine camping in Texas in the summer. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 another thing too. It would be extremely hot, so I I honestly I need to look at the weather for uh for this weekend. I keep get like thinking about camping and finally free this weekend. Yeah, I mostly we go in the spring and fall and winter. Yeah, yeah, I might have to wait till fall. Might be a lot more pleasant that way. So this portion can like you can do this again at any time, anytime you're ready. I should say. Um, I'm gonna start adding the squares. So honestly. The only reason I added squares as opposed to literally any other shape is because it's a nice contrast to the circle. Um, we have a lot of round, um, round or rounded um, corners and shapes in here. So I thought that if I added um, something that actually had corners in it, um, it would create a nice contrast. So that was my line of thinking. If you have another shape you want to do, then I say go for it. Um, another idea would be to, if you like bubble tea, then add some boba in there. Like just get a brown and make a whole bunch of uh, brown circles, small brown circles. Got your boba. Um, I like to think of these as little, I don't know, jellies or something. Like, you know how, like when you go to a, a, a bubble tea place, like you can choose your jelly. Another kind of jelly, I guess. That's what I added. What would you think? So it can be anything you want it to be. So I'm going to choose the next best areas. So that's the large area there. Color it in as we go. Everything else that we add after this will really just be filler. Nice filler, but filling them more. I think that's a little jelly coming. I think I'm happy with that. 
Now, if I go back to the original, um, you can see that I chose purple or lavender, I should say, um, as my filler. And these lines just kind of follow the shape of the squares. So no matter what shape you have, follow the shape of that shape. Um, so if you were to have, actually here's an example. If you had those like verbal boba or like circles, um, kind of do it kind of like this. But of course I have these um, straighter edges, so I'm gonna follow straighter edges. But I'm also going to add in a few little squiggles here and there. Now, you guys probably know by now, I'm a huge fan of squiggling in my work. So they start off as lines and then they end up as swirls or squiggles. Um, this one is just a plain squiggle right there. You can see a bunch of them. That will be after you make your lines. So make your lines and then make your squiggles. Wait a minute. Can you show that other one you just popped up? I hadn't seen with the, the bubbles or boba. Oh yeah, these, were you here for this class? No. Okay, I had done this, I think back in April. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, and this is the same idea. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to uh, show their work in progress? Kind of cool to see. Oh, hey, Sharon's showing us. There we go. There we go. And you actually colored yours in too. Were you trying to unmute yourself? Oh, okay, that's okay. Cool, thank you for sharing, Sharon. Yeah. I'm going to lay down soon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I like that you added um, extra dimension inside, like in the fleshy part. Yes, and I seeds. did. And seeds. Did. I love your seeds. The seeds. <laughs> I yeah, love the them. Bloody orange. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Blood orange. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that addition. What can I yeah. do? <laughs> hmm. I like the the some of them were colored in them. Like, I like them. I love Maybe for me, maybe I'll just be with the yellow. Let me see how that works. See, you guys give me ideas too. That I was going to use my light orange. But... Thanks for the inspiration. I like it a lot. Okay. So let me show you how to do it in purple. So I'm going to grab my light. But of course, you can always use any color you want, honestly. 
it it's really up to you. I chose purple because it contrasts really well with the orange. Um, so if you find another color that you think works really well for your fruit medley, then use that. So I, I'm actually using the thicker end too. I like that thicker end. It really helps to fill in a lot of space. can really see that contrast right here where that purple is right next to the uh, yellow and orange. That contrast a lot more than there. I am being careful to lift my hand up off the paper uh, just in case the, the ink isn't really dry by the time my, my hand touches the other thing. So just think you may not be that. I feel like after doing some of these squares, I probably need to add a, a few more squares. If you guys need to do that too, then. Like I'll probably add there, go in there. Something that I've been wanting to do lately is practice portraits. Because that's, that's tough. People are tough to do. And I can't say I'm very good at figure drawing or skin tones. I've just been trying to do portraits. So I'm gonna practice my own face one of these days. Maybe I'll show you guys. So let me show you how to do some of those faces. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to start off on the edge of one of my squares and uh, over here, start off on the edge and then just sort of stretch it out. Um, you can kind of see it over here as well, where I started on this edge, stretched it out, curled it, same with this one, this one as well. And then I just put random squiggles anywhere that looked um, pretty empty. 
So let's see. Pick good spot. Like that. Here, here's an edge. Squiggle there. Um, when you're doing these squiggles, think about a signature. Think about the same kind of movement you would do if you were creating your signature on your piece. If you wanted to actually create your signature, good, why not? If it helps you to turn your picture around, then by all means, do that. Sometimes I'm also looking at where I'm starting and looking at where I'm ending. And I'm trying to go for that spot. This one, I'm going to start here, squiggle in. Look at your starting spot and your ending spot. Starting spot is about here, ending spot is going to be here. Or not, or further than that. Now I can add squiggles really anywhere that needs it. Like I just added one right there, another one right there. Same thing, it's also going to be very signature style. I'm not going to worry too much about um, those other, the last element is going to be the leaf accent. That can go on top of anything. It really doesn't matter what's in the way. You don't need to leave any space for that. Any questions or anything else? Cool. Very. I actually really want to color in like the inside of my fruit now. Now that I see what it could look like. Did anybody keep it to uh, to one specific kind of fruit? They were sorry. Did anyone um, just do just draw one different kind or one of the same kind of fruit? No. Or did everybody do different things? Different. Mm -hmm. Different. Okay. Cool. Still makes me want to agree. Now, for that last accent part, I honestly just did one side of the leaf. So I started off with a line here in the middle, um, just a quick swipe in the middle. That's all I did, quick swipe. And then I moved it all um, to one side and then curled it at the top. Kind of see that right here. Curled it up. I think that was mostly just an aesthetic reason, no real reason. I think I was just getting tired of fully outlining things and just want to do it halfway. This so, start with 
one swipe in the middle. Curl the up. Swipe in the middle. Curl the up. So you get the idea. I guess I'll do it after dark two. There you have it. Nice little three of stuff. All right, who wants to share? Does anybody want to share? I will. Yes. Okay, let me. Um, let me do. Let me go ahead and do Tony first. There oh, we go. Nice. Oh, I love that blue you chose. Oh, and I love the 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 um, the two tones, the two different green tones that you have in your leaves too. Very cool. I love like the the gradient in the the flesh part too. That's really cool too. They look like watercolors. They do. Did you have did you have markers though? Those Was that three. markers that you used? Uh, for me? Yeah, yeah, Tony. Oh, oh yeah. Um, for my leaves, I use the washable markers and some water. Gotcha. Uh -huh. oh, that, <laughs> that's why it yeah. looks watercolory. Very cool. Huh. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let me show that I got Merle and then I'll do Susie next. There we go. Ooh, I love your colors too. Yeah, Let's very see. vibrant. I like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, very vibrant. I can definitely see uh, lots of movement going on with your lines and your swizzles. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I can buy it. And I, I like I like your lemon. You could kind of see it looks like it was cut in half and you could see the tip of it on the other yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's right, something there. about the the dots too. I love the way you put the dots down too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Marley. What? Susie, I'll put you up there next. Yay, there we uh, go. Little blue circles or blueberries. So, uh, oh, there oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds I amazing have right now. Berries. Yeah, I love blueberries. So. Yeah. Like, some kind of drink with like all those fruit and blueberries. That sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I really love your leaves too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love, I just love, like, there's something about the leaves that makes me really like them. Thank you. Super cool. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Who's next? You know. There. Um, Randy, there you are. So, Excel. sadly, 
sadly, I uh, started with dark leaves, so then I couldn't put any anything extra in there. But oh, I did the okay. Yeah. See, I love it's that. Fun. Yeah, you can you can go over it with water if you wanted to. It'll blend it out really nicely. Oh, because it's the water. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Thank you, Brandy. Yeah. I'll do mine. Yeah, Veronica. There you are. Oh, she yeah, has cherries. cherries. I know. Look, look at that. I love it. Oh, you got cherries in there. And cherries. Yeah. I know. I love it. It's adorable. Super cool. Thank you, Veronica. Anyone else? I'll show mine. Yeah. Let's see, Marianne, and a, and then afterwards, I think I saw your hand, Anna Marie. Yeah. I'll do yours next. So there's Marianne. Um, Yay! There, mm -hmm. your squiggles. Oh. I love those squiggles. Yeah. <laughs> I love. It was those. fun. Yeah. yeah. Was fun. Lots of fun. And I love that you added extra triangles inside the yeah. that one orange slice over there. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something that yeah. simple seems yeah. to add quite a lot to it. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of geometry on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. like really is. Yeah. tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a great cool. one. Thank you. Good. Anna Marie, you're next. Go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have like some sort of shading or something. Oh, I use, I'm sorry, I use colored pencil on the inside. Oh, oh wow. I love that. Yeah. That was a good idea. So you got both of them in there. And, then and I, I love got, your leaves. Uh -huh. I did a colored pencil like background as well. I was wondering, uh, I like, I think that's a really good oh. touch. Mm -hmm. And you, you chose um, purple squares instead. And there's something about that combo that I really like too. So there's um, markers and you said color pencils? Yes. Okay, nice. cool. Super cool, thank you. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Am I missing anyone? Cool. All right. Yay. Well, I am super happy that we got to spend some time together. Um, this was fun. This was really fun.